Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So, um, in a previous video, I had a request to do more HGV related videos and I had the opportunity to do a turbo on a Volvo D7E engine, which is the Euro 4 engine they put in their mid-range HGVs. Um, really common engine and they do have their fair share of problems, so it's a, a not a bad engine to work on. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'd do a little video. I did do this where I work, so obviously I've just propped the camera up and obviously recorded me working. I couldn't really take the time to really show you through it, so I'll explain it all in the video. And um, yeah, let's take a look. Right then, so here we have it. So this is our D7 engine, and as you can see, the turbo is in quite an easy place to get to. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this heat shield. Um, there's four bolts you gotta to get to. Um, two of them are the main mounting bolts for the ABS valve. Um, you undo them and they come out the other side. And then there's two little bolts just behind the shock absorber here, this little bracket that the pipes are, are mounted to. You just take them to four bolts out, sorry, and uh, you can take it out of the way. You have to take the cover off the exhaust and the exhaust brake, so there's three screws in that. Um, and yeah, then we start uh, getting it taken apart. Now, the other thing we got to do is take the intake pipe onto the turbo. So we'll take the clamp, obviously the mounting bolts, and we'll get that out of the way. And there it is. So... As you can see, it's starting to become a bit more visible. Now, I'll just show you my turbo, and uh, you can see uh, the amount of play that I have, which is quite a lot. And uh, it does spin okay, and it hasn't actually gone yet. But if you can see there, if I uh, give it a wiggle, you can see the amount of play I have in my turbo. So that's what we're going to be doing is replacing this turbo. It, Yeah, and you can see that it touches the housing as well, which is not good, which is causing a quite a bad squeal. And the next thing we're going to do is remove the exhaust pipe off the actual uh, exhaust brake. So there's just two clamps, one either end, and then we'll get that piece of pipe out the way. And the other thing we're going to do is remove the heat shield for the manifold. So we're going to take all the bolts, uh, row across the top. There's two either side of the turbo, two there and two behind the exhaust brake. Once you get this pipe out of the way, it makes it a lot easy and a lot easier and you can get the them bolts, not too bad. And there it is. So once you've got that heat shield out of the way, you can pretty much see everything you need to get to. So the next thing we're going to do is take the exhaust brake off. Um, there's four nuts, uh, 17 mil nuts. So uh, yeah, we're just going to whip them off now and get the exhaust brake out of the way. And you can see there's one right down, but you can get a span on them quite easily, so nothing to worry about. Now, the other thing we're going to do, we're going to take the manifold off. So it's always a good thing to undo these nuts before you obviously take the manifold bolts out the way. Um, I like to just crack the oil line off as well um, while the turbo is nice and solid because it's nothing worse. Because what we're actually going to do with this one, we're going to take the, the manifold off and then take the turbo obviously up. Um, you can take it down off the manifold, but it's a lot easier this way. Plus, these manifold gaskets usually need doing. So there's our manifold removed. Obviously, you can see there it separates into three pieces. Um, Usually you can lift the whole lot off as one lump, but I did struggle a little bit. It was a bit awkward, so I separated it, but uh, whatever's easiest. As you can see there, I'll have to clean up my head when I put the new manifold gaskets on, and uh, yeah. Now, you can see the turbo outlet pipe here is just off, sitting on an O-ring, so we just lift the turbo up off, and it's the same with the oil, fee, uh, oil return pipe. It just slots in on an O-ring makes it nice and easy once you've removed the or obviously the main supply pipe you can just lift the turbo straight out you can see here as well one of my uh, studs snapped for my uh, exhaust brake but to be honest with you i always replace all these studs with new anyway especially because we're having a new turbo fitted now i'm going to remove the oil feed pipe straight off the top of the turbo and I also remove it off the block just to get it out of the way to make it a bit easier. You can try and bend it, but if you happen to bend this pipe and it's, it fractures, it's going to cause you a lot of trouble. So I find it easier just to remove it out of the way. And then, yeah, also obviously the, the fitting in the block 
just to get the pipe out of the way. And there you go. That's your turbo. That's your feed pipe out of the way. Now, believe it or not, it's just a matter now grabbing the turbo and lifting it off. It's that simple. It actually looks a lot harder than it is, to be honest. So uh, there it is, removed. Now you can do it without taking the manifold off. I prefer to do it this way because you always find the manifold gaskets blowing a bit. So, as you can see, someone's done a nice repair before and covered it in silicon. But I'm going to put all new O-rings on here because uh, they obviously they need doing. And then there's another O-ring surface just in where the turbo go uh, supply charge pipe goes. So I'll clean all that up. So here's all my new parts. Now I do strongly advise that if you're gonna do this turbo to use genuine gaskets. Um, so I have a set of manifold gaskets. I have a new turbo flange to manifold gasket. I have an exhaust brake gasket. Um, I have two O-rings for the charge pipe coming out the turbo. I have two O-rings here for the oil return, but uh, it only needs one, so I don't know why I got two there. Um, some nuts and studs, which obviously I like to replace the whole lot. Um, and then we've also got a oil return, oh sorry, I'm just knocking everything about you. Um, oil feed uh, copper washers, four of them, obviously two for each banjo, and then an oil return gasket. Now, you don't actually have to take undo this to get it off, but I'm going to have to swap it over. So, as you can see here, there's my uh, little coupling there between the turbo and the first charge pipe. And then obviously we've got this little pipe here that slots in for the oil return. So we'll have to undo them two bolts and remove that, hence the new gasket. Now, just to show you guys, this is a Borgo on a turbo. This is obviously the genuine Volvo. It's actually got a Volvo plate on it and everything. Um, and then this is my new one for my factors. Now, obviously Borgo on a, um, just wanted to show you this mainly to show you that you don't need to go to to the dealers to get one of these I, I went to my factors they're brilliant and uh, I found it was probably about half the price for this turbo compared to the dealer dealer one so yeah um, the gaskets I strongly recommend genuine only but when it comes to the gasket you can save yourself a lot of money so there you go so there's my new fin now I used to put some grease on here and some grease on my new o-rings now I use red rubber grease um, it's just my preferred grease obviously nothing petroleum based um, on there and then I've got my new gasket and my bolts are tight my o-rings are on and it's ready to put the turbo back on now I've put just here now I've put my new studs for my exhaust brake um, I just put them in with double nuts guys it's probably the easiest way of doing it um, I just wanted to show you now this is the gasket that's come with the turbo now not only is the hole in the middle of the gasket way too small um, but also, as you can see, it doesn't line up properly with the studs. And yeah, you can mess about and drill the holes and mess about with it. But this is what I wanted to show you. Even though it's a genuine turbo, the gaskets that come with it are just not right. So I strongly advise um, to use genuine gaskets. I like can see there, there's a genuine one and it just slots on. It's a nice fit and uh, it's such a better job. So steer clear of the that the gaskets that come with it i know when they sell you the turbo they'll tell you it comes with all the gaskets but i don't agree with it so there it is guys there's our new turbo in place obviously just slotted it into them pipes um it's nice and easy design this i gotta be honest um like i say i'm doing the manifold gaskets so i do it from the top but if you want to drop it down and take all that off that's up to yourselves really now what i'm going to do what everyone should do with a new turbo is give it a good oil before obviously while you're assembling it um, so what I do is I fill it up with oil in the obviously supply hole uh, Make sure you have plenty of oil in there um, And then what I do is just get my hand in the turbo and just spin the turbine And you'll see as you spin it the oil level will drop So I'll probably do this two or three times just to make sure there's a good coating of oil in there um, There's nothing worse than a, a new turbo failing because it's lack of oil so because it will spin up really quickly as soon as you start the engine and uh, it might take a few a second or two for that oil to get there and uh, you want to make sure it's got a nice amount of oil to keep it lubricated until then so always do this
and there we have it guys so it's just a matter now of boxing it all back up um and uh yeah it's pretty much uh the same as we took it apart now the only one thing i will say is obviously there is a pattern for doing the manifold bolts up um pretty much um it's just a matter of doing each section individually and i just thought i'd put the um numerical order there for you guys to have a look at and uh, i talked them up to 40 newton meters it's up to you guys um i don't know the actual spec but that's what i thought felt nice and tight so um yeah that easy guys thanks for watching and uh, i hope this helps